see you, baby. If your irrigation system is on a portable line, you might have noticed a device like this one in your property. You may be wondering what's the purpose or what's the function. We spoke to a professional in Orlando to learn about these devices. Let's take a look. Blue and that slip fix wherever that went. I just had my hand. All right, good to go. What we see a lot of on job sites, especially residentials, is um, atmospheric vacuum breakers or AVBs. There's a couple issues with those. Number one, they can't be tested. Um, they're a little out of date and they provide little protection against uh, any kind of backflow. Also, you cannot keep um, constant pressure on them, so you have to put them downstream of the valve. So you have to have one for each valve. So they're not recommended, nor do most counties or pretty much any counties accept those as a, uh, as a uh, backflow prevention device. What we have here is a standard backflow preventer. Um, it's a PVB, or a pressure vacuum breaker, which you find on most residentials for irrigation systems. What this device actually does is protects um, you and the surrounding community from any kind of contamination going in back from your property into the system. So if there is an issue with your property, all those contaminants don't make their way back into the uh, drinkable water. There's a couple of issues with these. They need to be installed 12 inches above your highest outlet or a sprinkler head in this case. It's not necessarily ideal to use, um, especially in a lot of applications. Um, it can take, uh, it can handle back siphonage, but it doesn't work for back pressure. Um, what we really recommend is a uh, better quality or a different style, which is a RPZ, which is reduced pressure zone, or some people call it an RPPA, reduced pressure principle assembly. What that does is if there is a problem, um, it dumps the water out rather than letting it go back into your system. If you have a backflow preventer device on your, on your property, you need to have it tested annually for any problems or issues and make sure it's functioning properly. Um, you need to have it tested by a certified tester. Uh, a lot of plumbing companies, um, backflow companies, and irrigation companies will do that for you at a pretty minimal cost. Funding for the Urban Conservation is provided by Miami-Dade Water and Sewer Department.